Hello, my beautiful souls. How's everybody doing? And to my new babies that are joining the family, you guys, my goodness, welcome. You guys, I wanted to get on here and talk to you guys really quick about self-respect, self-love. Yesterday, I was having a conversation with someone, and you guys, I don't care if you guys have been with someone for two months, five months, 10 years, 19 years, never allow anyone to verbally, emotionally, or physically abuse you, ever especially when we have children. Don't allow our children to see that. I, it baffles me. I talk about a lot of things that I've experienced and I'm not gonna talk about things that I haven't experienced because that isn't okay with me. I come from a, a really messed up situation. I've said this many, many times. I haven't gotten into that deeply because I don't want anybody or especially my kids to, you know, feel weird about it. So, but I have been in a situation where it was just, mm -mm. so when I was talking to this person, you know, and they're telling me these things and I'm just like, why would you allow someone to belittle you? Why would you allow someone to degrade you? Why? Why do you think that's okay? Why? It's not okay. It isn't okay to have someone come into your life and corrupt your entire world. That's not okay. That's definitely not love. Because when someone loves you, they value you. They value you. They respect you. Someone that can sit here and verbally abuse you, verbally and emotionally abuse your kids, that's not okay. I would never again allow anyone to come into my world and corrupt it. I would never allow anyone to belittle and degrade my kids. I would never, as a woman, pick a man over my kids. And this is something that a lot of women tend to do. They tend to pick this bum dude over their kids, y'all. Not understanding the psychological abuse that that brings on your children later on. That they mimic what you're teaching them. It's, I don't even, because it just baffles me. It baffles me that you've allowed someone to come into your life and destroy your self-esteem, your self-respect, who you are as a woman, who you are as a person, as a mother, as a sister, as a daughter. You've allowed this person to come in and destroy it all. For what? For what, y'all? That don't make no sense to me. And then you want to be upset at God. You want to blame someone, so you blame God instead of saying, I'm going to take control of my life. He is not the only man in this world. Honey, they come a dime a dozen. A dime a dozen. I'm yet to meet someone that is that fantastic in bed that I lose myself for him. I'm yet to meet that. Because the type of woman I am today, y'all, I wish a man would try me. I wish he would try me, y'all. I wish he would, because I'm a different type of reader woman. I will not put up with anything, especially when it comes to my kids. I just, I can't do it. Find yourself. Find yourself. Repair the broken relationship with your children. 
my kids mean everything to me, y'all. And, and, and I can't say that enough. Because I'm a nobody without my kids. I'm a nobody. Where would I be if I didn't have Nye, Key, Corey, and Corinne? Where would I be? What type of woman would I be if I didn't have them? And it baffles me how some women get so blinded and they're so destroyed and they're so lost that they just allow certain things in their life. I need my sanity. I need that. Y'all don't never allow anybody to come and corrupt something. You've worked hard to build it. You build it. Don't ever lose your relationship with your kids, y'all. That's important. It may be a little rough, but there's always repairing. You got to want to repair it. You got to want to build that relationship with your kids. Nairoka and I just didn't start yesterday. This has been years of progress, years of hard work. I put it all I had into it because I needed the relationship with my kids, y'all. Was Nye, was Key, was Corey, and Corinne. Because once again, I come from a really fucked up place. I'm not a perfect mother. I've never been on drugs. I've never drank. I, you know, I drink, but I'm not an, a functional alcoholic. But I made choices that hurt my kids. I made decisions that affected us, y'all. It affected us, you guys. So the relationship I had with my beautiful, beautiful kids didn't happen overnight. It was years of work. It was years of taking responsibility. It was years of rebuilding my family because I needed my kids, y'all. Pick your children first. Pick them. Love them. Embrace them. Adore them. Support them. That's important, man. If you're in a situation where you don't know how to get out, hit me up because I'm going to help you get out. I'm going to help you get out. But don't allow no man to come to your life and corrupt it. Don't let, allow no man to come into your life and dictate what's going to happen in your home with your kids. Don't allow that because it's going to be a cycle. It's going to be a cycle. Your daughters are going to think it's okay to allow someone to verbally, physically, and emotionally abuse them. And your boys are going to think it's okay to put their hands on a woman, to verbally abuse a woman, and to emotionally abuse a woman. It's not okay. It's not okay. Well, I'm always going to take a minute, y'all, because I get emotional about things that I've been through, and I understand it. So, if you are going through this, if someone is verbally, emotionally, mentally abusing you, and you don't know how to get out, you hit me up, because we're going to figure this out together. Because sometimes we don't know where to go. Sometimes we're embarrassed. I don't care if I've been with this man for 19, 20 years. You will not continue to destroy me. You will not. Mm -mm. Not this woman. Not who Mama Moya is today. I wish you would try me. I wish you would. No. And it's even more heartbreaking when the situation is so close to home. They don't see it. Oh, it's the only man I know. What? Like, they don't come a dime a dozen, y'all. But sometimes us as women, we block our own blessings because we're so stuck. And the only cycle we know... We don't know how to get out of it. And someone can help you. All they can. But unless you're willing to make the change, it's always going to remain the same. Always going to remain the same. It's like a drug addict. You could bring them to rehab 20 million times. But unless that addict wants to change, it's always going to be the same. It, it, it's always going to be the same. Y'all remember, y'all the lottery ticket. Whoever deals with you, they're the ones that are privileged to be in your life. You're not the one privileged to be in theirs. They're privileged to be in your life because you're the lottery ticket, because you're important, because you're beautiful, because you matter. 
You guys, this is all for right now because, you know, sometimes I get so worked up, y'all, because I, I, you know, I get frustrated and I get upset. But I love you guys, um, and I want you guys to stay safe and blessed. And if you guys need me, if you guys need my help, y'all know how to reach me. I've said it numerous times. They hit me up on my IG. I don't care what time it is. I don't care what day it is. I don't care what I'm doing. If y'all need me, y'all hit me up. You reach out to me. I love you. Y'all stay safe. Stay blessed. And do not forget, you guys, to like, share, and subscribe. Love you guys.